gentlemen, Laura Schlecht here. We are at the drop-off for the Houston 48-hour film project 2012. We've had 70, well actually just over 70 teams participating this year, and they're here dropping their films off. We've had a number of them checked in already. Hector Luna was kind enough to visit with us and talk to a lot of filmmakers. Let's hear what they had to say. I'm Charles Booth. This is a Purple Wizard film. We just uh, completed a film for the 48 hours, and it's our second year doing it. This year we did a, uh, a very odd twist on a, on a zombie movie, and uh, we're really excited about it. What was your favorite moment? Um, I really liked the ending. We had a big like attack kind of scene that was really fun to film. We asked our uh, audio editor about three hours ago and had to redo it. Productions, and this weekend we took place in the 40 Hour Film Festival, a festival that you get to film a movie in 48 hours. And this is my team, Alex Brandon and Graham. I still can't pronounce the last name. I've known him forever. There we go. And uh, we made a, a comedy this weekend. It was really fun to shoot. It really just it took forever. But we'll let him talk about it since he did direct it. I just put all the money in producing. Right. Pretty much, uh, we got extremely lucky and picked a comedy for our 48 Hour Film. And we just started sitting down, just went over, went over it with a couple of beers, just talking about exactly what, what it is we want. And we started looking through all the places we had to shoot at, and we came up with a terrific story by uh, Grant here. And we just got together and made the, what I am hoping to be the uh, uh, first place video. It is Rob at work. Rock and we just happened to come up with the title of that video the last minute. We're like, oh crap, we forgot to do one thing. Name it. I was like, oh, no. yeah, We were actually so, right about to hit the render button. And it was like, oh wait, we got to add a title. So he did it. And gave it and rendered it. Turned out pretty cool. It's got guns, comedy, a bunch of stupid things, and snow cones. Check us out at highvelocityproductions.com for the video or just find us on Facebook at High Velocity Productions. So, there we go. I'm Wynn Oliver, and uh, this is Randy. We're on the team Random Pro Films. Our movie is uh, called Homeless Cuisine. It's about a homeless guy who makes his living selling out of his box or briefcase. That's what our movie's about. It's like a documentary. Uh, how about, like, halfway? The smudge on the screen of the lens that we found out halfway. Yeah. Halfway through editing. Someone didn't notice it. <laughs> we looked at the, uh, the film and there were smudges all over the screen that we didn't notice, and then we had to go reshoot like half of it. Yeah, this is our first time. It was fun. fun. We probably stayed there for about 30 hours. Yeah, we got. I got like two hours of sleep. My YouTube is uh, Random Pro Films. Okay, my name is Steve Kennedy. This is Paula. Hi. Our team is Perfect Time to Panic Productions. We did a movie called Daydreams. It's a western of all things. And we didn't go for the wild card. A 3D animation about a little kid who's having problems with his dad, and so he imagines that he turns into a western bad guy, and they have some confrontations out in the wild west. And I don't have the rest of the script. We don't have a website, but it will be up on YouTube uh, after the premiere screening. Paula has a story she'll tell you about a team that came out of the kickoff. As we were walking out of the kickoff, the required character this time was a chef or cook, and one of the teams walking out in front of us said, I'm hungry. There's a restaurant across the street. Let's go shoot over there. <laughs> it's five minutes after the kickoff. Windes and Goshu, and this is my friend Brenda. <laughs> uh, we did uh, Houston and H Town, that's the name of our movie, and we had a wonderful, wonderful time. It was about vacation, holiday, going to uh, to choose, uh, going to heaven, you know, in a twist. Hi, my name is Blake McMahon. I'm first time leader of the Vertical Project. We did A Father's Love, and it's a story about a father who tries to get his girls to go to sleep and uh, is, is trying to also deal with their biggest fear. And um, one, one of our weirdest moments was we, after we had shot all the video, I give I give it all to the editor. He goes, reboots his computer, and he can't turn his computer back on. Completely fried. Um, it's 8 o'clock at night, Saturday, and uh, we end up having to go just back to my place. I download a free trial version of Vegas, and that's what gets us 
through <laughs> and get this our, our finished product by today. Yeah, it was it was fun. I've slept for two hours uh, since Friday, so I'm ready to sleep. Hi, my name is Patrick James, and I am the team leader for Broccoli Jack, and we have just completed our um, making a film in the 48-hour film festival. The title of our film is Charlie's Horse. And this is my one of my team members, Jose. And uh, it's basically, it's, uh, we, we drew romance as our genre. And uh, we had a lot of fun sort of playing around with the different stories. You know, we, we've got like, uh, the most important uh, part of our story is actually the horse. The horse that we've got in our film is, is a horse to die for. Isn't he? <laughs> And uh, but everything went really well, apart from, actually, when I say that, thinking about it, with a week to go, I, I had no crew and had to get all new crew, because Jose's normally part of my crew, but he decided to be an actor in this one, so then you got all special treatment. So it all went really well, and we're really, we're really pleased with it, and we're hoping for big things. I'm Jerry Swift, and this is uh, Richard Starin, we're the co-team leaders of Rohe Productions. This is Steve Carpentier, one of our leading actors in the movie, in the, in the film we made this year called Holiday on Ice. We drew the category Holiday or Vacation Film, and so we tried to do, we did a vacation theme, it's kind of a, uh, a dark themed vacation theme movie, uh, it's kind of Christmas time. And uh, the name of our team is Rohe Productions, we're going to have a website called rohemproductions.com, and that will have the film on at some point. And come check us out at the screening. Hi, we're Big Three Group. This is our second year in uh, competition. We're a two person team uh, last year and this year. And uh, we look forward to it. Uh, we look forward to it this year. We're looking forward to it next year. And we had quite a, quite a bit of fun in the process working together. And of course, we're married, so it goes well because I've learned a long time ago to say yes. Uh, it all works out and we're here on time for the second time and hopefully we'll get the most improved and uh, we'll be up for that next year too. But anyway, I uh, hope you can make some screening this year. and then an additional screen on Monday, June 25th. We're going to have a different set of films each night, group A screens on Monday, group B screens on Tuesday, and so on. Each night we'll have a screen at 7 and at 9.30, and so we hope you can check it out. Screenings are all going to be at Studio Movie Grill over in the uh, town and country area, the city center area, and you can get more information on our website. That's www.48hourfilm.com slash Houston. Hi, I'm Brett Simo. And I'm Joey Cantu. And we're with Autumn Child Productions along with two of our actresses, Z Zulema Nall and Laura Houston. And um, our film is called The Bitter Advice. We had Detective Cop as our genre. Joey? Yeah, and basically it's just a short story uh, of a of a cop and a bartender and bad advice. Uh, so if you come out, we're screen A. Come out to see our to see the movie, and I know you're gonna like it because it's really funny and because this guy's bad. <laughs> you're bad. Really bad. bad. I'm really bad. bad. We actually got our production done about what is it? Six six, six hours. Yeah. In six hours. Wrote it in. It wrote, it, wrote the script in three hours, and yeah. we did we did really good. It's awesome. Yeah. I can't. I can't well enough thank the casting crew for everybody for yeah. their effort in. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. And, and we're going to do this again next year. Oh yeah, yeah most definitely. Hi, I'm Jake Schnitzer, team leader for Vitamin Q Productions. I'm with Kyle Winton, Teddy Vandenberg, Chuck Schnitzer. And we just completed a 48-hour film project for the 2012 year. We're all a little tired, but we got film to film, one that we originally weren't going to take, but after a little turn, a couple turn of events and a new actress on board, we ended up taking it. We had a great time. We, we really didn't have anything bad happen, I don't think. What do y'all think? I got tortured while tied up to a chair. He was good. He, that was the best part of the, the weekend, in my opinion. <laughs>
rendered on the tollway. We rendered on the road, which uh, I think is you know something a little bit innovative to do. It's probably illegal in most states. And it's also illegal in the state of Arkansas. <laughs> Uh, if you want to check us out, come to the premiere. We're in group A. Please, please come to the premiere. Look for Last Resort. <laughs> Hi, my name is James Sire. I'm with D-Reality Productions. Uh, we just completed the 48-hour film festival, just turned it in, and uh, I think we've got a good product. We've got uh, a really good crew and uh, had some great talent. The film is titled Widowmaker, and it is a Western film. Uh, that genre is Western, so it was a lot of fun. We filmed out in Booth, Texas, and we, we had all the six shooters and everything. Smooth, I mean, it was a very long um, process, but we, we got it done. We lost a lot of sleep, but we're finished and we're, we're, we're confident. Check us out at the premiere screening on June 20th, which will be a week from Wednesday. Uh, hey, I'm Christian. This is Trevor, David, Josh, and Crystal. And we're Team Long Table. Uh, we the film. We have the buddy film. It's called Brute uh, Day. And basically, uh, it's about two friends. Uh, one gets a tough job, uh, to kill his friend, and uh, maybe he might or may not go through with it. <laughs> but, I don't know, but uh, yeah, it was really fun. We have been working since uh, Friday night after the draw. Uh, lack of sleep definitely is tough, but we pulled through with plenty of time to play. Hey there, I'm Mark Baird with uh, Team, well, part of Team Film Fractor. There's uh, what, 24 more of Film Fractor team members out there somewhere that didn't make it tonight. But we're happy to be here. We're happy to be finished. Very much so. Yes. Uh, this is uh, Victoria Weiss. This is Argentina. And this is Zoo over here. Uh, Zoo is an actress. We've got a script supervisor, of course, assistant director, producer, and other stuff. Uh, is uh, Napparella, The Secret of the Chef's Surprise. It is a comedy, and I really can't tell you anything about it, so I don't want to spoil the comedic surprise. There's really so few of them in there that, you know, we got to save them all. But it's, uh, it's a fun film. It's a fun film. It's a comedy. We're in, we're, check us out, we are screening on Monday, the, the last screening group on Monday the 25th. So come out, check it out. There's going to be some uh, great films there. Hi there, I'm Dennis Korsnick, and this is Carol Davis for uh, Can Films. We did sci-fi this year, unfortunately linked events. Um, it was great, um, kind of a sci-fi, psychological thriller sort of thing. We had some uh, creative differences, but we am kind of turned over with a kiss, like this. Aww. And uh, we just kept on rolling, so it was a fun weekend, and we got a good project in, so we're really excited this year. We're screening in the uh, D group, uh, unfortunate length of events, but it's a sci-fi, so it should be good. Come see it. It's great. And cheers to Laura for putting this on. We love you, Laura. Thank you. How's it going? My name is Luis Gonzalez from the team you already know. And I'm London Alexander. <laughs> we, uh, we got the movie All's Well That Ends Well. Uh, we don't have a website, so just come and watch it at the screen. What, what? It's called All's Well That Ends Well. It's, uh, it's a thriller, and it's about a, a main character named Fox, and what happens when he owes the debt, so... You gotta deliver a briefcase somewhere, and then something happens, yeah. Uh, check us out at, uh, I don't know, at the screening. Check us out at the screening. We'll be there. Hi, my name is Eric Hodges, team leader of Last Minute Productions, and we just got through uh, filming the uh, short film uh, Jacob's Destiny with our lead actress, Myra Leal. With me is our lead DP, John Wright, and our production assistant, Mitchell Dudley. Our screening will be June 25th. Uh, we hope you all make it out, and as well as uh, support us and our team. And, uh,
Great Ringers, one of my boom operator, one of my actors. And the name of our film is The Root of All Evil. Uh, it's kind of about a family, a mixed family, two families that came together, and uh, there's major issues. And uh, this is our first year to do it. We scripted it Friday night, and we uh, started shooting about 11 o'clock Friday night. And we're going to be screening ours on uh, Wednesday, June 20th in Group C. How was your experience?